What's up guys, I'm Noob Genesis, and this is from Sniping Noob to Sniping Pro. And today I'm bringing you a gameplay on Grind. It is Ground War Domination, and just as a little heads up, we're gonna get stomped. Tactical insertion online. We are gonna get obliterated. But, I do almost pull positive, and there is one reason for that, and one reason to learn. It's because in this gameplay, I am using my pistol as well as my sniper. And that's what this commentary is gonna be about. Should you use a pistol, shouldn't you use a pistol? What's the ups and downs of either of those options? So the first thing I want to say is, during this commentary, when I say pistols, I mean the Cap 40 and the B23R. And the reason for that is, if you're considering using a pistol, the main thing you want to worry about is, a lot of the time you're going to be using a pistol to finish someone off after you get a hit marker, and the only thing you need to do is hit a single bullet. Doesn't matter how powerful that bullet is, you just need to hit a single bullet. And that's why you can hit fire spray with the Cat 40 or the B23R, as opposed to the TAC 45 or the 57. And if you use an executioner, then you've just got a death wish. But with saying all that, we have our first priority using a pistol. And that is the fact that you have something to finish people off. It's annoying as fuck getting hit markers, and it takes quite a while if you're using a bolt action to get that second shot off. So obviously you've got a pistol. You just whip it out really quickly. Bang! They're dead. So that's definitely the first the first pro to it. But there's also a downside to that. Generally speaking, pulling out a pistol is fast. But when you're in a situation where you are head to head and you just got a hit marker and they're shooting at you already, you need that pistol really fast. So generally you're gonna need to have fast hands and while I use fast hands anyway for my track insert, and that may not be an inconvenience to some people, it still is a requirement, and it limits your flexibility with your other choices. You might, like a lot of people, also use toughness or hardwired, and you're going to have to pick perk 2 greed, wasting yet another point just because you're pulling out a pistol. So, it's kind of an up and a down for that situation. But let's get into more situations with using a pistol. The next pro on our list is, basically, when you're using a pistol, as I said, they are overpowered as fuck. They can pretty much carry you to a spawn point, an enemy spawn point, sorry. So basically, you don't need to use your sniper, you don't run a risk of dying on your way to an enemy spawn point, and then you can get the spawn trap and just face towards and just hope for some kills to pop up. However, that also kind of... It kind of makes things a bit more bland and boring in montages. It's not as fun when you are watching the exact same clip. MMW3 did this to me, and I got so bored of watching... Uh, what's it called? Resident. No, uh, Resistance, that's the one. On resistance, where they're all head glitching down near the sea flag, and people just pop around the corner, and all they do is they just pop up and down behind the pot, uh, the pot plant, and over and over and over again. And I'd see this clip a hundred times because it was such an easy spawn trap, and it gets boring after a while. So that's something you got to keep in consideration. It's also why a lot of good snipers end up going to drop zone because you knew where people were headed, because not only like hard point, there was more reward to go there. And you could cut them off and go for feeds in between, and you'd get a lot more feeds in different areas. Some people thought it was cheap because half the clips would be them laying on the flags. Oh, sorry, on the uh, drop zone. But the ones that weren't laying on the drop zone generally were pretty good clips because you didn't know where they were going to spawn. And it's easier to control, or figure out, sorry, than a TDM, for example, which is very difficult to not only pick the spawn, but pick spawns where there's going to be multiple people there. But if you are okay with those type of clips, then I would still recommend this more for if you're in a sniping party and you're all going for the spawn trap, because if you're in a party that isn't really spawn trapping, it doesn't really serve much purpose. You're going to be pushing your way there or carrying your way there with your pistol, and then once you're there, someone's going to push in and the spawns are going to flip, so you're just going to be running back and forth with your pistol out. This next pro I was almost going to leave out because it really isn't likely that many people are going to be trying this. And that is when you're going for a quad feed with four different weapons. And when I say that, it's generally sniper kill, pistol kill, knife, and tomahawk, or combat axe. And then it comes up in the feed with four different weapons, and it looks insanely cool. But it's a bitch to do. <laughs> It's not, it's not easy to do, and it's unlikely that people are going to go for it that much, because, again, it's not that common. 
So I almost leafed that out, but I thought I'd just chuck it in just to cover all, all ground. And with that concludes our pros to why you should use a pistol. Now we're going to move on to why you shouldn't use a pistol or the pros of not using a pistol. And with that, we've already covered our first pro. I said it before as a con to why you shouldn't use a pistol. Sorry, why you should use a pistol. But I didn't say the pro side. You don't need to have fast hands. And this is really an important one, even though it may get brushed off a lot. Even by myself in some cases, because I use fast hands anyway. But the thing is, I'm probably going to be doing a commentary on toughness versus not using toughness. Because my fast that I'm using lately is hardwired and fast hands. Because I don't think I really need toughness that much. But that's not for this commentary. The point is, there is options. Good options to use other than fast hands. And not using a pistol or attack insert, or even if you are using attack insert and you can tolerate the time it takes to put it down, then you don't need to use this perk. And even more importantly, you don't need to use perk to greed. Which I think is quite a big, very big reason why you shouldn't use a pistol. The second prior to why you shouldn't use a pistol, we also already pretty much covered. As I said, if you do use a pistol, you're going to be carrying your way to each spawn. But if you don't use a pistol, there is a chance that you're going to come across four enemies on the way to their spawn, and you're going to have your sniper out. Obviously increasing the chance, even, even if it's the chances are slim, it's still increasing your chances to get that feed right then and there. Which personally I think looks better if you're in the middle of the map. And I know it may not seem like much to people, but let's have a look at some exaggerated map. If, there, if you came across four people in the middle of the map, and you had a 1% chance of getting a feed, that's not, that doesn't seem like much. But that situation happens more than once in this gameplay, just this gameplay. So every single one of those opportunities, I have a chance at getting a feed. And over, say, a hundred of these opportunities, you're bound to get a feed. And if you use your pistol during this, you've eliminated that chance of getting that one feed. And it may not seem like much, but over time it builds up. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking of this. The next two points kind of go hand in hand, but I'm going to separate them. And the first one is, it takes less skill. Plain and simple. This more pertains towards uh, game players, but it just takes less skill. When you think about it, you get all these people doing pub stomping with regular guns and they get a 200 plus with swarm and dogs attached. That's not as impressive as 150 plus with non-lethal kill streaks like VSAT and UAV and county UAV because pretty much the attack dogs and the swarm do all this work for you. It's the same when it comes to gameplays with snipers. Someone will get a 70 plus and 30 of those kills will do with a pistol. It's still impressive, but it's not as impressive, not even as close. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And the next point that it ties in with, it's fucking cheap. Honestly, I, it shits me when I, not really shits, and I'll get to that in the next, my next point, my final point. But it's just cheap, it's hard to explain better than that. It's really cheap to get into a sniper fight with someone, you shoot them, they shoot you, they just pull out their pistol and they win. And that comes up to my final point, and probably the most important of all. It takes away your practice with a sniper rifle. And when I said before it shits me, what I meant was, if I get killed by someone using a pistol, it's one of those situations where it's like, I'm not angry at you, I'm disappointed. Because I have a higher than average, probably the highest accuracy that I've seen personally in the Aussie lobbies with my sniper rifles. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean I get more feeds than other people or anything like that. It doesn't mean I'm a better sniper, but I land my shots more often. And the reason for that is I rarely use pistols. I think the entire time I've had this game, on my sniping accounts, I've gotten around 400 pistol kills collectively and over 50,000 sniper kills. Yeah, that's a difference. <laughs> and... It really does help me get better and better in those situations where I'm quickscoping it. Because you only really play pistol in a situation where you're head-to-head -head and you're quickscoping. That's the main thing I take into consideration, guys. It takes away your practice with a sniper rifle. And with that, that pretty much says what I do. I don't use a pistol. 
and I'm not going to recommend one or the other for which is better for you, like when it comes to getting kills, but overall, I recommend not using a pistol purely for getting more practice with your sniper at all times. That will hopefully help you get some really fast feeds. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. At the end of the day, it's up to you. You can go over this, choose the points that you like, choose the points that you don't, and decide for yourself. As that's what you should always do, decide for yourself. But personally, I don't use it, and I think it's better practice if you don't. And with that, guys, that ends the gameplay, that ends the commentary. Hope you've enjoyed. Have fun, and thanks for watching. We got our asses handed to us. Regroup.